Welcome, welcome. It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And this is going to be part three of how to make money in 3.8. I'm still discovering some of these, or at least I'm playing with some of these. Uh, these are missions. So missions are going to be a good way to make money, especially early on. You've got personal missions, which you can see I have a racing mission, and then I've got four mercenary missions here. Uh, then you also have general missions, which there's a lot of categories for that. It tells you how much you get paid if you do the mission, where the mission's located at, that sort of thing. As you see, there's delivery missions, more mercenary missions, investigation, maintenance, bounty hunter, and ECN alerts. So delivery missions are probably going to be the easiest ones to do. They will take a little time because delivery is not, you know, right around the corner. Um, mercenary missions are pretty good for cash flow, especially how long they take to do. They're not very long. And if you want to get the most cash flow early, you'll either do the 890 jump mission, which for me was a little bugged and I screwed up. Or you, you'll do the evict, uh, the evict people from the stations missions, which I'll show you here in a second. That one is probably the easiest one to do. Um, I've sold a, soloed it many times, and it's worth seven thousand UEC. Every once in a while, you'll get a delivery mission that's worth about that much. So you keep an eye out for those. Like I said, those are easier, less risk. But uh, the Evict Illegal Occupants mission is usually a really good one to take. And of course, it bugged out on me here. There's a lot of bugs in 3.8, unfortunately. And the devs have all gone home for vacation uh, for the Christmas holidays. So I don't expect any uh, changes or any updates or any fixes to go in until after the first of the year. So we're stuck with what we have. We just have to deal with it. So here we are at the Breckenridge here, the security outpost. I'm going to solo this, and some really crazy bugs happen with my gun here. So I've got an S71 assault rifle out right now. And when I switch, I'm going to lose that weapon. And then I switch over to a Devastator shotgun. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should switch back to my other weapon. You know, we're just going to sit over here. I'm trying to kind of play this strategically or tactically. We don't have to get this crazy with the tactics uh, doing this mission. Any of the missions will get you money um, as long as I don't bug out like this one did. But this is definitely one of them that pays off a lot. Um, as long as you don't take damage you should be good. Or if you take damage, as long as you have med pins, you know, you should be good. So I've discovered now that I can't switch to a main weapon. All I have is a sidearm. Some sort of bug took my main weapons away. Ones I paid for. And they're not even in my inventory anymore. So they just disappeared. No longer be. So I'm going to try to go to an LMG here. And then I'm going to pick a shotgun. Well, do I want to do a shotgun? Might as well. So we'll have to change out the ammo for it as well. Doing some of the missions will also lead to uh, some personal missions for the specific NPCs that are in the game, the, the mission givers. So you can start on doing some of those and then get more missions from the NPCs as they come along. So that's a good way to make money too and kind of play out a storyline. Uh, they're going to string more and more of those together as things go along. Uh, missions are supposed to be more dynamic and, you know, feel from, you know, one part to the next part to the next part is how it's supposed to feel rather than just go to A, take care of, you know, your mission and then you're done. Uh, they want to go to A, take care of the first part of the mission, and a new mission pops up. Go take care of it at point B, and a new mission pops up from that, and so on and so forth. So they want it to be very dynamic and engaging. Um, now I finally got a weapon out, and we're going to have bad guys here, and I can't fire. That's another bug. Now somebody told me in chat 
that the way to fix the firing bug is to set up a bind to inspect your weapon or if you're using the mining tool which has happened to me a bunch too uh, I'm gonna throw a grenade here seems like a good idea so inspect it so I've set up a button for inspecting so I use the the period button to inspect weapons and stuff now uh, of course I didn't know to do that during this specific mission so I was just kind of stuck using my pistol here for some of it. Thankfully they weren't shooting back at me here because I had some cover. Let's pop him one more time to put him down. But yes, I in 3-8 until they get it fixed Ooh, I took some damage so I'm gonna have to heal. In 3-8 until they get it fixed you're gonna wanna inspect your weapons uh, to keep this firing thing from happening. So for me I would press period it'll inspect my weapon and then I'll like press the right button to aim down sights again, and then I should be able to fire. So there's a little uh, pro tip from uh, some people I talked to during game this uh, morning. So uh, you guys might want to set up a key bind for inspecting your weapon. It works. So we've already eliminated quite a few guys here. Usually there's eight guys in here to, to take out. And that's one, two, three, four. Looks like we've got four so far. Five. So we've taken out five guys. I'm gonna pick up one of their weapons. Hey, look, my shotgun finally fired. But I want to have some sort of SMG or LMG because of the high rate of fire. Shotgun's not that great at the, that range, so I'm going to pick up one of their weapons. And it's only got 30 rounds, so I've got to make them count. There's a guy right there. Why he didn't come out from cover to attack me, I have no idea. So that's six down. So there should be two more. Now I'm going to pick up another weapon because I want a fresh mag. And we'll stalk around here. Some of these guys can be hiding in some crazy places, so you, you got to be careful because it only takes one or two shots and you're down. And the new AI, the way it's set up, it's almost like every shot's a headshot. So, yeah, take it slow, take it easy, and, and be sure of your shots. You want to make sure you put plenty of shots into a guy so they fall. A lot of times there's people hiding here, so always mind those corners. sneak around here and I see a guy down there that was seven there's usually an eighth one so again like I said this mission kind of bugged out on me I'm gonna go and check it out and say hey well, I thought that was eight It's not tracking that mission, so make sure you're setting up to track the mission. That might have been one one reason why it bugged out on me. But, as I was saying, missions are a great way to earn money early on. Uh, you don't have to cargo haul. You don't have to mine. You can just take one of these missions, like a delivery mission. That's the easiest one to do. Now, you need a place that you can pick an object up and put it in your ship to do a delivery mission. So, make sure you have a ship that can carry something, you know, like an Aurora... Um, you know, anything bigger than that as well, freelancers, etc. Uh, Mustangs, Hornets, those are not going to be good for those delivery missions. So make sure you have some place to put it. 300 series is good for it. Um, and that's a good way to make the money. And then if, if you have a, a Hornet or a Mustang, uh, you can do the Bounty Hunter missions or the Mercenary missions. Uh, those are a good way to do it too. Just be careful because sometimes there's some pretty good AI ships out there that can, you know, wipe the floor with you. So 
make sure you take a good ship or that you're a pretty good pilot to do some of those missions. But if it were me, I would stick to the delivery missions or these uh, evict missions. These, these missions pay out a lot, and you can actually string a few of them together as long as there's not a gun bug to deal with. Uh, as you can see, they're hacking into the system here. So uh, that's what I would do, personally. You know, it's up to you guys. There's plenty of options there. It's a great way to make money. Uh, you know, right now on my list, I would say cargo hauling's number one, then these missions number two, and mining number three. Um, there's going to be other ways to make money eventually, but uh, those haven't come into the into the system or into the game yet. And those will be like salvaging or VP, uh, VIP, you know, touring, carrying people from point A to point B. Wow. Somebody can't speak today. Yeah, those missions uh, will end up being in the game when that gameplay comes along. We've already got some ships for, for some of that stuff. And then other ways to make money is if somebody puts out a beacon, you can actually accept the beacon and get paid for whatever it is that they need done, transport, or, uh, you know, uh, fighter escort, something along those lines. So guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. I think at least 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. I re really appreciate your you guys uh, hitting that button for me. Uh, hit that bell button to let me know whenever I do post a new video. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. And I'll see you out in the verse.